So, so yeah, basically to, we're looking at beta decay now. So you can get this by um, going in here and you can expand it out and you can either click on, click on play. It depends on uh, my computer, I think needs to have an update, but so I have to go to the Java version, um, but they both are fine. I've already got the Java version um, downloaded. So I'll just get that open. Oh, so, okay, so here's my um, picture of a carbon atom. So just like I said earlier on that we can have um, carbon atoms can be, um, carbon atoms can be, uh, you can have different isotopes of carbon. So you can actually have, uh, you can have carbon um, 12, which is the one that's on the periodic table. So let's just write these out properly so we can have the atomic number of six because it's carbon. So it's got six protons because if it didn't, it wouldn't be carbon. It's got an atomic number of 12. Now, this one, we, we say it's stable. OK, so it's it doesn't decay. It will just kind of sit there. And then we've got carbon 13, which is very rare. You don't see much of that, but it's stable. So nothing really will happen to it. And then we've got carbon-14, still atomic number of six, carbon-14, and this is unstable. So if something is unstable, it means it might decay. We don't know when, but it, it could decay. So notice they, they all got the same atomic number, but they've got different mass numbers. So they've got different numbers of neutrons. So this one's got... Uh, so, so this... So this is um, this is beta decay that we're going to look at in a moment. We're going to see what happens now. In alpha decay, what happened is two protons and two neutrons sort of fell off the atom. Well, they didn't just fall off; they flew off, um, and that happens with very very large atoms. Now this is um, alpha. This is beta decay. Sorry, and it's not so large. So uh, mass number fourteen, whereas the other one was like mass number of two hundred and eleven. So we're going we're going to see what happens to this, and it's a lot. Of, it's quite a lot stranger. Then, um, then what happens with um, then what happens with alpha decay? I use the drawings they have over here. So here we are. Um, so basically, you can have um, uh, how how is this going to work? I'm not used to it before. Uh, you start off with oh, there we go. So so carbon fourteen, uh, atomic number of six, and then we're going to press play. And it changed into nitrogen fourteen with atomic number. So, so it went into nitrogen fourteen, and that well, it's nitrogen. So, if we looked on a periodic table, uh, you would find that the atomic of nitrogen nitrogen is actually seven. Now, something was given off. Well, actually, two things were given off. Um, so, we're gonna the first thing that was given off. They didn't really know what it was. It's called a beta particle. They called it a beta particle. Let me just uh, move that out of the way for a moment. So it's called a beta particle. And actually, I'm just going to shrink that a little bit. Can I shrink it? Yeah. So they they called it a beta particle. Another thing that was given off, which is actually um, more kind of comes up in A level, um, was a um, was a something called an anti-neutrino so i'm just going to move that animation out of the way so it's called an anti-neutrino now you don't need to know that bit at gcse you do need to know this bit at gcse um but that's the symbol for it anyway let's just rub a little bit of that out um so so that's what happened um so now let's look at this a little bit more carefully because with alpha particles so with alpha decay the mass number went down by four but with this one, the mass number stayed the same. So how is it possible that a mass number stayed the same, but the atomic number, and in fact, the atomic number increased, which is weird because we haven't given it anything. There's nothing to be, there's no protons being added to it, but also the mass number stayed the same. So to see if you can work out what happened for that, for the, if the mass number stayed the same, but the atomic number went up, can you work out what went on inside the nucleus? Well, if we think about this carefully, if the if nothing was added to it, but somehow the number of protons has increased inside of it, the mass number stayed the same. So if we break down what this first carbon atom has, it has six protons and eight neutrons. Let's just write that down. So we've got, so this one here, I'm going to just use a different color here. This one here has got six protons and eight neutrons. We can see that just from what it from what is written there. 
Let's use a different color for that one there. And this one has got seven protons. Now, to work out the number of neutrons, remember, we just do the mass number, take away the atomic number. So it must have actually seven neutrons. Now, when we write that down, it becomes a little bit easier to see what happened. Although the protons went up, I can't spell protons, it said protos, protons, that should say. Um, although that went, that went up to seven, the neutrons went down. So that how did the neutrons go down, but the protons go up? Because a neutron changed into a proton. So inside, the, um, inside that carbon atom, so the carbon nucleus, one of the neutrons became a proton. So if we reset this and watch it carefully, you, you may notice that the, so we've got uh, the gray circles are the protons and the red circles are the new, sorry, gray circles are the neutrons, the red circles are the protons. You can see from the key up here. And when I press play, if you watch carefully, you might see that one of the circles, yes, the one on the front became a proton. I'll do it again. See, it was an, it's a neutron there. The one on the front, just behind the four, will turn red in a moment, hopefully, not too long. And so that is becoming a um, becoming a proton. There you go, becoming a proton. So now this is key because um, uh, it's it, it happens. This is what happens in all beta decay. Uh, so in all alpha decay, two protons and two neutrons come off. In all beta decay, a um, a neutron turns into a proton that in all beta decay okay kind of it's kind of weird that's why beta decay is more mysterious more strange because in alpha decay something just fell off so it's like it's like we just broke a bit off but in beta decay something really did change um which is really strange so well i mean beforehand we think oh something changed because i you know, a, a polonium atom changed into a lead atom. But when we know about the uh, what atoms are made out of, it's not too strange because we know they're made out of protons and neutrons. So we just took off two protons and took off two neutrons and we have a lead um, atom, a lead nucleus. But in this case, it's a lot weirder. We just got a neutron becoming a proton. Now, what about this thing over here? Well, this thing over here, after the, after looking at it a little bit more, they realized, oh, this beta particle that's emitted is actually an electron. So, um, so this we can we can actually label now as an electron. Uh, we won't bother talking about too much about the antineutrino that comes up in A level physics. Um, so we don't need to know about that GCSE. So you can kind of like ignore that. Um, but um, at A level, you will need to know about that. So the neutron becomes a proton, and actually, it also produces an electron. One of the ways, so 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 at GCSE, um, it's always a neutron to a proton plus an electron. Now, just to be just to um, have, if we analyze this, it kind of makes a bit of sense because neutrons are neutral, so no charge. Protons are positive, and electrons are negative. So you've got a plus and a minus; they cancel out. To, so we've got the charge of zero on the left and a charge of zero on the right. Now, at A level, you do get the other way around. In, in GCSE, we just call this beta decay. At A level, we don't just call it beta decay. We call it beta negative decay because you can get a beta positive decay. And that goes like this. So again, this is just for A level. Um, a proton turns into a neutron. So that can happen. And what happens then is, not an electron gets produced, but something that is like an electron, but with a positive charge. And um, and then not an antineutrino gets produced, but a neutrino that doesn't have the bar above it. So um, so basically, that's what happens. Uh, that's what can happen. These positrons, they, so these electrons that have a positive charge, they're called positrons. And they're just like an electron, but they have a positive charge. So yes, you can have that. And this would be, uh, and that would be called a beta, posit beta positive particle. And this would be called beta positive decay. But at GCSE, you only need to know about the beta minus, which is this one over here.